y'all it's natalie for a cherry on top today and it's technique tuesday and we are focusing on texture so i'm using my favorite tim holtz for ranger matte texture paste through some tim holtz stencils these are mini um stencils collection number 54 and they are christmas themed there's poinsettias, there's evergreen boughs with pine cones, and there are holly leaves. And then I have this awesome cut file by Paige Evans. She just put this for free on her Facebook page the other day. It's very simple, but I thought it would be really fun to fill the open spaces with some textured cardstock. So that's where I'm going for today. Um, I have this five by seven, I think the size is. Um, cardstock little pieces from American Crafts, and I'm go I was gonna do the stencils directly on them. And then I realize how much white space the stencils leave. And so I decide that I do actually need some um, gesso. So I use my heavy um, gesso that you see right there, Art Basics, heavy white gesso, and I cut, coat the entire piece of cardstock with this white gesso. And I do it on two pieces um, because I'm going to pull that uh, texture paste through some stencils but i'm also going to add some watercolor and so since i knew that i was going to be adding so much water i definitely decided that i needed to have the gesso so i have let those cards up pieces dry and now i'm going to go over them with the mini stencils from um, the mini stencils number 54 from tim holtz i'm just trying to figure out the orientation that i'm going to um, stencil because i want them to fill these triangles of the tree and so i'm trying to see which is the best orientation to use <laughs> but i am going to do the poinsettias on this entire piece of paper because i think that's my favorite stencil from this pack of three and i don't know i just wanted to make sure to use a lot of it so it's not like a super perfectionist um situation we got going on here i definitely can overlap the stencil a little bit but i do try not to like press it down into the wet texture paste too much um and i'm just making sure to get these poinsettias all over the page and I might be saying that wrong I know some people say poinsettias um but yeah there we have it that's how I say it <laughs> and then this piece I'm just going to divide in half and kind of do the evergreen boughs with pine cones on one side and then do the holly leaves down the other side lengthwise um so that I can cut them into those long triangles to fill the Christmas tree like I said I got that from Paige Evans happy scrappy group on Facebook and she gives like a free um cut file every week which is awesome so there are the dried pieces of cardstock and I'm just kind of like making sure that I can get what I need out of each piece. So I'm going to slice that one down the middle and now I'm going to go through and use my watercolors. And I decided to use these from Ken Oliver. They are metallic liquid watercolors and um, I do a little mixing and matching here, but um, they are super fun. So first I'm going to do the green. Um, I think it's called Veritas, um, but it's pretty green. And, um, but once you dilute it with water, it really looks a lot like, um, I don't want to say turquoise because it's not exactly turquoise, but it's very light. And so this does end up looking to be like more of a pastel, um, Christmas tree. It's really beautiful. But if you did want it to be a little more vibrant, you just layer up your watercolors. Um, that's the beauty of watercolors. You can get any color that you want. You just decide if you want to layer them up or not and you can see how it brings out the texture with the texture paste and it's so beautiful now that one i did use platinum and it's a really beautiful shimmery color but it is basically clear besides the shimmer so i did decide to add in a little bit more so that is a little tiny bit of powdered watercolor from um nuvo and i when i say tiny bit i literally mean like the tiniest most minuscule amount because those powdered watercolors go a long way y'all and they last forever so that's perfect for you guys so next i'm gonna mix the yellow gold liquid watercolor with the mica spray from tim holtz which is in um bronze aged bronze i think is that color and so it'll give me this really lovely gold with a little bit of bronze in it um i didn't want that super yellowy color so i'm happy with how that turned out but i love the way it just really enhances the texture paste so i'm kind of giving you an idea of what i'm going for here there's going to be a different texture in each um triangle of the tree so I just cut it to size and then I'm using my Nouveau adhesive. It is fabulous. Once it dries, it will stick to anything. Um, so I highly recommend this adhesive um, because for this cardstock, you know, it has, it has gesso on it and it has texture paste and it has watercolor. So it's full of things that do not want to stick. 
to anything. Um, so once it dries though, this Nuvo adhesive will adhere to pretty much anything as far as I have found and highly recommend. So I didn't make you watch me fill it all in, but there is the final product. I'm super happy with all the texture that provides and I think it really nicely mimics the tree in the photo. So I did want to use my ink blending brushes from Waffle um, Flower Crafts. And so I just used like a white um, gel pen to kind of outline the tree within the outline. So I didn't want you to be able to see it. But then I'll start with my blending brush from the middle because that's kind of where you'll get the harsh edges. And then I use a circular motion to give a very soft green um, like halo effect around the edges of this cut file. And I'm using um, Rustic Wilderness from Distressed Oxides and um, just basically going in this triangle around the tree. And it just gives a nice little shadow effect and helps it stand out off of the page because um, it's a pretty stark white background here. I'm really loving the way that looks though. I'm happy with that. And um, so there's my photo. It's my son with a little pouty face. I promise he's not really as sad as he looks because like the next picture he's smiling. He was just being silly. Um, but it was the perfect opportunity to make a fun title that says you better not pout. I'm going to use these new Jeff Alphas by Pink Fresh Studio and this die cuts with a View um, Glitter 6x6 paper pad. And I'm going to um, make my title. So the word pout is going to be cut out of those Jeff Alphas. And I am going to use the craft paper in the background. Um, so the Jeff Alphas cut two. They cut like a background and then an inset which I love. Um, my favorite alphas from Pink Fresh um, are the Heather alphas and they do the same. And these are actually easier to use, I believe. So I cut the base in the craft color and then I used that really lovely gold color to cut the word pout. Um, and it has this really great, again, texture. I didn't actually expect these glitter letters to add as much texture as they have, but they have these lovely little lines on one side of the letter. So I combined them with the um, Pink Fresh puffy stickers from the fall collection. And so the title is You Better Not Pout. And um, I'm just gonna back that photo with some like pinky color vellum that matched the way that the red color on the um, tree turned out. And um, just to help that stand up off of the page and stand off of the tree when I overlap the photo a little bit. And then I'm going to use that to be the base of the title. And um, again, I use my uh, well, I'm going to use my HG gun to tape down the cut file on the photo, and then I will use my new adhesive to um, stick down the title. And um, I like to make a little like rule, I guess you would say, where kind of everything touches one another. So that really helps bring cohesion to the page. So I put the word pout down, and I looked at that word so many times that it stopped making sense to me. <laughs> but then I remembered that I got these tweezers and I did not know that they lit up when I got them but y'all these are the best things I think I may have ever bought from a cherry on top these are from American crafts they're called comfort craft tweezers and they have a light on them look at how easy they are to like pick up these teeny tiny little letters I got them for sequins but they work really fabulously for these letters and so I use them to like add additional adhesive which I typically like to use with my letters and um, stick them down and place them just so and they light the way oh I'm super happy with these highly recommend these lighted tweezers by American Crafts comfort craft tweezers big great best stocking stuffer you will have this year definitely recommend you to get those so lastly, um, well not lastly, I'm sorry, I'm not done. I am going to use the same tweezers to pick up some sequins. So I have like a Spiegel Mom Scraps um, collection and then I'm mixing it with a few of the lighter color green from this Boston collection by Katherine Pooler. Katherine Pooler always likes to put out really cute little sequin mixes that go with her collections that they sell in the Cherry on Top store. So I'm just picking out the green ones and mixing them with some red ones and a few white stars to embellish my tree. So again, adding another layer of texture and interest to this cut file. So I won't make you watch all of that, but I do fill in pretty much the whole tree. I also cut a star that is with a Pink Crush um, Studio die. I also have the foil plate for that, but I cut it with the same gold um, glitter paper that I used for the title. And now, um, I, normally I would have like 
ripped off the top of the page and kind of put like a pattern paper behind there but i remember that i had these 49th and market rub-ons from last year they're from the i think it was holiday cheer was the name of the collection from christmas last year and so i decided to use those because i love 49th and market rub-ons so i use some of these just like they're kind of like watercolor splatters with a little bit of like words in them but like you can't really make out what the words are saying so i cut those down and use those on the ink blended portion around the tree just to add a little bit of interest um around there and um i just you know i slice them down the middle just to fit so they sticked out sticked out oh my goodness so they stuck out nicely from the cut file and um i just kind of match the colors that are within the cut file as well just the greens and pinky red color kind of colors and then across the top where i would normally kind of tear it off and put some pattern paper i decided to use these music notes so i just cut them to be like a little bit of a strip across the top and just rub them directly onto the white cardstock and um you know there wasn't one continuous strip but it's okay because you can kind of like hodgepodge them and they still look really fabulous and you can also layer them which i super love um so you'll see me do that here in a minute once i get these music notes across the top i did use just red and green um but then i'm going to add that word believe down below the photo and then I'm gonna kind of layer on, on top a little bit, um, a little saying about Santa and some black alphas. And then I'm just gonna go to the top and layer some more little black words on top of music notes. And then we're gonna call it quits. So I am really happy with all the texture and fun, um, you know, elements on this page that help me. It was pretty a simple page, but I like to keep it simple like on the background since it's so busy within the tree and also because that glitter uh those glitter alphas like i said kind of gave me a lot more texture than i was expecting so there's the final um you can see more seals on in the cherry on top gallery on my instagram as well and make sure to check out all these cool products that we have in the store those jeff alphas highly recommend they're a little bit of an investment but i mean how many pages can you use this on like every single one the answer is every single one Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, head over to my channel if you would like to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.